Like every business, I found myself in the following situation. There are tons of things that I'm doing manually, really wasting my time that I can simply automate. I decided to give myself a five-day challenge to see what workflows I can automate within our current system. This next series of five videos will show you each day what I automated within our workflow. It's never too late to get started to automate your business. I'd love to have you join me in this challenge and let me know in the comments below what you decided to automate. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. For today's automation challenge, I decided to tackle email. I have a whole sequence of emails that I do to follow up with potential clients. Like once I send out a proposal to them, I want them to get emails within a certain interval. I found that I was doing this manually. And what I would do is I would send the initial email and then I would snooze my email within Gmail. And five days later, I would get another email that says I need to write back to them. I would use a Gmail template, which made it a little quicker, but I was still manually sending all these emails. So what I decided to do was to jump into Monday sequences feature, which is part of the CRM. And I set up automated sequences. So what happens is I send out the first email and then everything else is automated. So let me show you how that works. If you look on your screen here, you can see that I've clicked on the sequences section. And right now I have one sequence. This is the one that I'm in, in the process of building and showing you for this today's challenge. So if I click on it, I can open it. And I'm going to click edit sequence. And as you can see here, I have all these different steps that I've added. So let's say the first step is that I want to wait two days and then I want to send them an email. Then I want to wait four days, send them another email, five days, another email, and six days, another email. And you can see that I have a sequence of four different emails. Now, a few things to keep in mind. First of all, you can easily change the number of days. Second is you can click on these three dots. I can add a step before, add a step after. I can move the things within the order of my sequence. I can duplicate or I can delete it. So let's just say I want to edit this email. All I would need to do is click on the email and I can right here, you know, checking in, hi, and you could see that I pulled this pulse number. And what that is, is that's pulling information from a column. So I can actually pull information from the columns, pull a placeholder, and then it will automatically pull that information in. So in this case, I'm pulling the first name. And then here's my email, a very simple email that's going to go out. And basically, I have all of these steps that are going to happen when I want an email sent out. Now, the next part to look at is just some different rules. So first, I can decide who, like who it's coming from, the board it's coming from, which is the email address. If I want a phone number, I can add a phone number. And I also need a time zone. So here I can say what time in New York and I can choose the day. So like I only want to send these emails Monday through Friday. I don't want it send them Saturday and Sunday. And it's telling me what time I can send these messages. So I'm saying only between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. I want to send those messages. Now, there's also some interaction and removal rules that it's important to take note of. I can decide to remove a contact from a sequence if they open an email. So I actually think this is a really good one that I would want to add. And I can say, you know, let's say when email is open, then I can change a status. Now I need to set this status up in my board and then it would automatically change the label. So just to review that, what happens is, is you have the full sequence set up and then you have a status column that says like responsive or something. And when the other person opens the email that says, that opens the email, it changes the status on my Bunze board to be responded. And then it's going to kick them out of the sequence, which is really good because if they respond to me, I don't want them getting all of these emails. You can also remove if they bounce. You can remove them if they clicked on something. Um, and also, if you get an auto reply, you can see that that's in beta. And you can see here, I can get a notification when anything is sent out. So like if I want to know, 
that it's actually being sent out. And here are some of the notifications, like who gets the notifications. Now here, if you look at enrollments, it's going to show me who's enrolled within the sequence. Right now, I don't have anyone on because I haven't actually turned it on because we're still finishing all the details. But once I add people to it, I'll have a list of all the people that they're enrolled and it's going to show me what they're up to. Now here you can see that I can easily mark it as inactive or active, save it. And I can also look at previous versions. So here you can see, and this is a good way to actually see the enrollment, like these are previous versions that I was just testing, right? So if I look at this, I can see that he completed the whole sequence. And if I want to go to the item, maybe delete it from this. Oh, no, not. This is my husband, Adam, who was testing using his name. <laughs> and here you can see that I see all of the information. Um, you know, this is his item card, how I have it set up, and I can see all of his information. Now, if I go here, you can see this is my sequence. See, this is the automatic email, automatic email. These are all my sequences from the new lead follow-up. And if you look at this icon, it's showing you that it's part of the sequence. In general, if you have an email sequence that you want to set up to automate this process, I highly recommend that within the CRM, you go to sequences, you just click on new sequences. You would need to add a name. I'll just call this one test. And then you just follow the steps. You first pick a board and then you're going to actually create your specific sequence. So here you can see we can add the first step. And these are our options, an automatic email, manual email, a general task or a call task. And as we add these, so here we can add the email. We're just going to continue add. Let's just say that we want to have a manual email, just showing you how this would work, create a task. I have all these different options to create a sequence that allows automated emails to go out for my client. Now, this sequence that I set up as part of this challenge is just to save me time for incoming potential clients. But I do want to throw an idea out there that you can actually use this for once a client signs, like as soon as a client signs a contract with you, you can then send them a series of follow-up emails and you can use sequences for that also. So maybe, you know, your first email is like welcome and, the, and your second email is like, these are the next steps to get started. So these are some other ways that you can use sequences within your business. I'd love to hear in the comments below how you're using sequences. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.